Okay, we are here with Elena Sheffa at the Giraffe Ranch, and this is a great attraction if you want something that's not just another theme park, something that's really a personalized experience. And Elena, can you tell us a little about how that works and what people can expect here? Well, yeah, this is a high, high quality, low volume eco tour, agritourism that we're doing here, and it's a little unique maybe for Florida, but certainly it, it's not unique if you've gone to the countries of Botswana, South Africa. We used to take a lot of people on tour there, um, and we're really capturing all the best aspects we experienced on high-end safaris in Africa and bringing them here to Florida. So what you can expect is to see animals out in large open areas uh, with a guide who can explain a lot of the different things that we've learned and observed on the property having large herds of animals here. Um, we are also all about customization because we want people to get as close to these animals as possible in as non an artificial way as possible but ultimately in a safe way. But touching is the most important thing because we know we like to touch stuff. Talking is boring and uh, when you touch something you really make an emotional connection and that makes it all the more important. Yeah, and wouldn't you say then this really makes it great for families with kids because the kids aren't just looking through bars or through glass. Absolutely. This is um, age appropriate starting from pre-verbal. We've had our first centurion here who was 100 years old and 10 months and uh, she had a great time. And what resonates with people again is getting close to animals in a non-artificial way and getting an explanation. Either it confirms what they already know about animals or maybe we can show you something and tell you something that is different and you've, you've never heard about or seen before. Um, that being said, you know, we're interested in educating people because having animals is really a privilege. And, you know, we live in an area where uh, some of the younger uh, folks in our area don't have the you know privilege of owning a, a fish must less know the difference between a cow and a deer and getting people to to care about animals starts with get, getting them to touch them to learn about them to get to see them in ways that perhaps is more engaging than if you're you know seeing them in a more artificial environment so um, that's what separates us from a zoo certainly from a theme park and, um, and from a sanctuary because we really focus on having big animals as much at, not in enclosures as possible and, and we are focused on breeding because we know that the only way we're going to bring animals sustainably into the future is if, uh, if we can breed them and, and uh, have, the, have, you know, have them in that kind of a, 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 well, anyway, we know that's the most sustainable way for bringing animals into the future. And I was really impressed, um, we just came back from the safari, of course, um, by the amount of different species you have. Can you tell people, because I think they'd really be amazed at the different species you have here. Yeah, we call ourselves Giraffe Ranch, but, you know, um, we struggle with that because we think our cows are as exciting as our giraffe. Um, that being said, we have probably about 35 different species on the property and well over 250 different specimens of animals. Um, so there's a lot more than just giraffe here. Yeah, it was really amazing to get that close to the rhino. Oh, and the camels, that reminds me. Can you tell people, I know there's premium experiences that can um, you can do. Can you tell them a little bit about what they can do with the camels and the lemurs? Yeah, um, we have some additional things available to our guests when they come out and do the hour and a half basic tour with us. Um, and those are available. Uh, a uh, ring-tailed lemur experience is one of them. You go in with a guide and get to feed a family group of ring-tailed lemurs. We also have shorter camel rides. Um, it's a 10-minute ride, not in a ring, but out with some of our smaller animals. Um, and then we have a parakeet experience also. We also have um, a behind-the-scenes rhino encounter where you can get up close and feed rhino as well because we have Indian rhino on the property. Um, we, we have a, a more exclusive tour that takes place. We, our two basic experiences are, are um, the vehicle tour, which is an hour and a half, guided and involves giraffe feeding. We also have a camel expedition, which is a, a, a guided tour, an hour and a half. It also involves giraffe feeding. And what's unique about that camel expedition is, I believe, outside of going to Kenya, Africa, we are one of the only places in the country where you go out and game view on camelback. Um, it's a very exclusive tour. We typically can only take uh, six to nine adults maximum per tour. You go out with a string of camels and two walkers. And because we do the tours ourselves, we're, you know, we don't want to be bored. And the last thing 
we expect is we think our guests don't want to be bored either so the focus is different for both tours and the experience is going to be different because when you're on the back of an animal viewing animals the animals going to relate differently than they do to a vehicle uh, so it's wonderful um, I've ridden a lot of weird animals all over the world and I have to say it wasn't until I got on the back of a camel that I was like wow this is great so it's wonderful yes it's really amazing we had a chance to sample the camel ride too so I thank you so much for giving this uh, overview yep you're Thank welcome. You.